So EA dropped 100 Centurion crafting upgrade packs, but first, here are a bunch of hero packs from yesterday. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable ultimate team coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. So I had no idea these came out. Uh, max 87 base hero packs. I'm going to do them on my account as well. But I had no idea these came out. I was at the United Derby or Manchester Derby um, all day. I've just got home. It's about 10 p.m. now. And I realized these came out. So the first one for Wazza is going to be Nakata, who isn't a terrible card at this stage of the game. It's just in a, probably a few weeks' time to a month's time, it's it, it kind of gets behind the power curve. But at the moment, as a box-to-box -box mid, it's actually a decent card, genuinely. And I know, like... It's a bit of copium in there, but four star, four star, medium, medium. Not horrific. I don't think he's worth a huge amount. The packs aren't super expensive, though. They're about 90k a pack at the moment on Footbin. So you're probably breaking relative, almost breaking even there with Nakata. All right, come on. Go as a Yaya Torre, Ramirez, something like that. Pet Republic. Rizitsky? I don't think he, I don't think you make coins on, on Rizitsky, but again, probably not a terrible card. Premier League hero, decent stats. I mean, 83 pace, 88 dribbling. To be fair, it's actually not a bad card. Four star skills, three star week for is a bit of a letdown though. Uh, again, maybe a fun one if you like Arsenal or I don't know, maybe maybe just like Rosicki. I think he was a decent player back in his day, but he's only worth about 50k, so not amazing, sadly. We have got my two max 87 rated base hero player packs. Yay! Yaya Torre, Ramirez, someone of that stature would be fantastic. Let's see who we get. First pack. Come on. Is that Beasley? I think his name is Beasley. I actually don't think that's bad. Yeah, it is Beasley. I actually don't think that's terrible, to be honest. I think, like, 75th minute, bring him on. Crazy pace. Crazy pace. Good acceleration. Will be great off sort of the left. Maybe even left back, to be fair. I know his defending is not super high. But maybe at left back, he wouldn't be a terrible shout either. And he's got some decent links to, like, some of the good, like, women and things like that as well. So, yeah. I don't think that's awful, in my opinion. All right, we've got our, our second max 87 rated base hero. I just want to see Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast or Brazil is what I want to see the most. Here we go. Come on. Please. Dutch. Cam. I don't know who that is. Dirk Cow? Dirk Cow? Not a bad card. To be fair, and the funny thing is, I think we opened a bunch of these last week. And, uh, like, we would have already got over this. But I really don't think that's a bad card at all. I thought it was Wesley Schneider, but I think he's 88. I don't think that's a terrible centre mid. I know he's only 3-star, three 3-star. Three that is probably his biggest weakness. But aside from that, as a box-to-box, -box, that's a, a pretty reasonable card. Especially at this stage of the game. I think high, high work rates. Yeah, I'm not against that card at all as a box-to-box. -box. What's his play style looking like? He's got power header. Oh, he's got whipped pass. And jockey. And relentless. Yeah, that's usable. We'll take that. Max 87 base hero. Here we go. In a moment. Let me just discard Jonathan Klaus. This is a this is a sacrifice to the gods for Yayatore. Come on. Or Ramirez. Here we go. Thomas Rosicki. Another Thomas Rosicki. Brilliant. So the Centurion's crafting upgrades come with a completionist objective. Completing them 100 times unlocks an 80 times 10 and the 100k pack. But along the way, you get things like an 84 times 2, an 83 times 3, rare election packs, jumbo premium gold packs. So you get a bunch of packs for completing them along the way. So of course, I've spent the last hour building 100 of those packs and we're going to open them up and see what we get. So let's see. Now these are actually like a bit better than gold three player packs uh, so gold, gold two player packs the gold three player packs effectively 11 non-rare golds for three rare golds in return let's see if we can get anything decent from these packs i'm hoping we can get some walkouts some fodder maybe some centurions maybe if i'm being cheeky a centurion icon or two as well be really really nice but let's see that's an inform who we got greek striker pavlidis from az alkmaar We'll take that. He's actually had a bit of a scoring spree at the moment. I think he's scored in like the last 11 games or something crazy like that. Go on, Pavlidis. Right. So that is our first like half decent one to get. We do get us an inform. He's 10k value. So that's okay. That was after we had 111 packs. So 10 packs in. We got our first like half decent pool. I mean, I'll take that to be fair. Although I can't lie to you. 
the rest of them were pretty bad the rest of them were like pretty much all 80s and things like that so it's not not the best of starts but we'll see when we get another good pull what, give me a rashford why not oh i'll take an alibi hey let's go what rating are you these days 86 85 okay it's not even a walkout but i'll take it we got ourselves david alaba and gavi so two boards in one pack that's probably about 10 packs later or something like that i mean every now and then you get a board i've not been showing you every single board that was nine packs later wasn't it or 11 packs i can't remember but every every now and then you do get some good stuff i'm not showing every single pack because i feel like i'd be boring everyone if i showed every single pack or every single board but an 85 is all right we'll take that as solid oh is that another info I think it is. Why did I look different? I looked like green. I don't know. I got excited about that one. Uh, Carlos Sola, another inform. I guess we'll take it. So far, that all we've got to get excited about at the moment is been informs. And I think that's a duplicate and tradable as well. So we're going to discard it. In fairness, like, not a bad box-to-box -box centre mid card. Not amazing. But if you can get like an Evo out of him, it's actually a pretty solid one. So, not the worst. <laughs> Who's that? Chelsea left winger. Who that? Brighton. Oh, was that a walkout? Oh, my bad. I just swore as well. So hopefully we, we cut that out. Nice. 88 rated Wrighton or re Reeton. Untradable dupe again, of course. But 88 rated. We'll take that. I'm going to have to go recover that when I do an SBC at some point. But that's our best pull so far. Absolute W. Let's go. Nice. Thank you very much, EA. We take those. And we're back to nothing. Left wing. Oh, Marquinhos. Nice. Okay. We get another walkout. 88. 87 rated Marquinhos. Hey, I'll take it. Nice. Good card. Is he worth a lot still? 20k. Fair enough. I remember back in the day. Back in the day, that card is like 100k nowadays. But, you know, FC24 market is uh, is unforgiving at the best of times. So, yeah. But, oh, that's not bad. Go on. Back to back Marquinhos. Imagine. Bremer at least. 84, please. Not Danilo. I'm going to skip it because it's probably Danilo. But you never know. It's Danilo. Fair enough. I've just opened an 83 plus times three by accident. No! 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 It's terrible as well. No! That's annoying. That's really annoying. What a terrible 84 times three, by the way. No! Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well, that was terrible anyway. Left wing. No, right wing. It's right and again. I mean, we'll take it. Another 88. But it's not quite the right wing Norwegian we were looking for in Graham Hansen. Jack Grealish. Get out of my club, Jack. I mean, I just put him in there. Overnight. That's not very smart. But yeah, not the right wing we're looking for, is it? All right. I'm wearing a jumper now because uh, unfortunately... I had to head out to football, so I couldn't open all these packs like at 7 p.m. when I built them because I had a football match, um, which is why you're seeing this video on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday morning. Yeah, that's right. I'm also putting a hat on because I'm not going to lie to you, the hair has had better days. But we have 52 packs left to open. We're going to rip into these and hopefully get ourselves something decent. As always, I'll see you guys if we get something good. Ooh, was that a walkout? I skipped it. Hey, we got ourselves a little walkout. Uh, we get a little from Arsenal. That I can't lie to you. I don't, how many packs are we on left? 35. So it's been about 15 packs of pretty much nothing. Yeah, I, I'm falling asleep. I can't lie to you. It is it is one in the morning. I am already really tired from playing football. I am falling asleep opening these packs. They, they haven't been great. I mean, we're getting bored. Don't get me wrong. Getting 84s and 85. Well, 84s and 83s mainly. Um, it's always nice filling up the club with those cards, but I just want someone a bit exciting. I want some pizzazz in the video, EA. I want something that I can uh, shout home about. Who's that? Oh, De Brits. Brilliant. De Brits here, Romano. Just what you wanted. Thank you, EA. I'm so grateful. Like I said, 84s are cool and whatnot, but like, you know. They're not walkouts. They're not centurions. They're not informs. They're not centurion icons. You know, that'd be really nice. Germany. DB. Best I can get there is Schuler, but it's probably Hummels, right? Yeah. Brilliant. Ooh, go on. Be Bernardo Silva. Okay. All right. That's all right. 88 rated Bernardo. Very, very nice. I don't know if any of you guys saw the clip 
um, of him and Ruben Diaz being like, uh, there's a uh, speed told him some like weird story. Dude, those clips in the Ballon d'Or are hilarious. But we'll take Bernardo Silva. That's all right. 88 rated. That's woke us up a little bit. Come on here. Let's get some more. Let's get some more excitement going on here. Center back Varane. Renard. I'll take 88 rated Renard if that's, you know, it's Mbok. It's M. Erdegaard. Okay. 87. Double. Oh, double walkout. Let's go. Some excitement in the video. Sam Kerr as well. Look at that. That's the first time I packed Sam Kerr this year, actually. Let's go. Some excitement. Yes. Erdegaard and Sam Kerr I don't think they're worth huge amounts, but I'm happy to have packed Sam Kerr for the first time, and it's great fodder. Let's go. Come on, EA. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get let's get Centurion now. We're starting to wake up a little bit. The packs are starting to get better. French, centre back. Paris. FC. Reboval. Reboval. Let's go. Woshek. Woshek shows knee. Let's go. Double walkout. Come on. These are starting to spice up a little bit. Let's go. I keep thinking every time I get like an 80, 85 or something like that, I'm like, go on, be Rashford behind it. And then I remember Rashford is a Centurion, so he cannot be behind it. I mean, Kyle Walker is the go-to now. Be Kyle Walker behind him, man. Oh, set a mid. Courtois. Right. I'm not kidding. Courtois does not exist in packs. He just spawns on the market. I don't... Like... This guy, I have not packed Courtois once this year. And I've packed almost everybody on this game. Oh, my word. No, Bentanko. B Valverde, man. This B Valverde, you little troll. I've not packed Courtois, right? Who else have I not packed? Tonali. Courtois and Tonali don't exist. Convinced. I haven't packed either of them this year. They don't exist in the game. If you've packed them... Let me know down below. But to be honest, there won't be anyone in the, in the comments saying that. Because none of you have. They don't exist. We are coming to the end of these three rare gold player packs. I think I've only got four left. They've been okay. If I'm being honest with you, they've been okay. you got to remember, right? To build 100 of these packs that require 11 gold non-rares in each of them. That is 1,100 non-rare golds. And let's say you pick them up for 400 coins each. We're talking about... 440k i really hope that math is right it should be all right but i'm not a very smart human being it's all like 400k was it worth it i mean i did not get 400k worth of players that is for definite but i had fun and we'll see what i get in the rest of these packs i would say do them gradually i don't know how long they're out for but do them gradually and just kind of like build them when you get cards in the club you know what i mean Build them when you get stuff in the club. Build them when you get the odd player here or there in the club. Go and, you know what I mean? Like, you do Div Rival rewards, Foot Champions rewards. You got a bunch of non rares in the club. Go and craft a few of these packs. Then you'll gradually get towards the, the bigger packs. I mean, they're not necessarily massive packs either. I think, I think for doing the whole thing, you get a 100k pack. You also get an 80 times 10, a couple 83 times 2s, and stuff like that. They're not amazing, but hey, if you, you know, if you're doing. I tell you what, some people are doing Team of the Year pack projects. If you're doing that as well, maybe that's a good thing to, to do to build these and save them. But yeah, anyway, on to the big packs now. I just, you know, just, we're just skipping over that. We're on to the actual packs now. We're on to the stuff that, like... Is that Xhaka? Who is that? Ah, just fake, fake Xhaka. Um, yeah, we're on to, like... I know Xhaka doesn't play for Arsenal, by the way. That's why I was confused. Oh, my word. What's that? It's a non-rare... Oh, it's an icon. I thought you packed an icon. Oh, Amrabat, though. We'll take that as a W. Come on, EA. I think we're on to rare elections now. Please, give us something for all this. Give us something for our efforts, EA. Please. A Centurion. Kyle Walker. Yes, it actually is. Yes. Yes. That is a huge, huge W. Finally, I've packed Kyle Walker. I've used him a lot, actually. How many games have I used him for? 87 games. By far, in my opinion, the best right back in this game. That's 100,000 coins. Just like that. Get in. That is the best pull so far in the video. Not even a walkout. Let's go. Kyle Walker, baby. That's actually a massive dub. I'm really happy about that, by the way. I'm actually buzzing. I really... I've been saying it. You guys know that I watch the videos. I've been saying it every time. Ooh, Kiesa. Ah, he's incredible, dude. That's great, isn't it? I've been saying it. Please be Kyle Walker every time. And it's never Kyle Walker. And it finally was Kyle Walker. Could have been Trent as well. 
Uh, all right, last rare election players pack now. Oh my word, that's something. Inform, okay. Another Carlos Sola. I think he's untradeable as well, so it's like... Blech, you know, whatever. We get Jed Spence as well, who's at Leeds now. I feel bad for Jed Spence. It just didn't work out for him, did it? I kind of feel bad. I hope it works out for him at Leeds. I really do. All right, what we got? 83 times 3, 84 times 2, 80 times 10. I'll do the 100k pack first. What do we got at the 100k pack for completing the entire thing? It's a troll, man, because it can't be Rashford. It's going to be Jack Grealish or Phil Foden. I don't want to see either of them right now. I'm not happy about it as a United fan. Uh, absolutely none of these are tradable as well. Brilliant. Discarded all of those. Okay. So, to be fair, we did claw back about 100k from Carl Walker. We actually might be getting close to at least half back, you know? Uh, what's next? We'll do the 83 times 3 next. What are we saying? No Centurion. Argentina. CDM. It's an 83 rated card. Oh, man. Let's go. I'm so lucky. Just amazing. All right, come on. 84 times 2. What are we saying? No Centurion again. America goalkeeper. It's an 84, isn't it? Double 84s. Wow. Insane. All right. Okay, the last pack of the video, the 80 times 10. Please, EA, give us a Centurion to end off this video, please, I beg. No Centurion. It's going to be Cannon... Can't be anything good if it's I don't think there's a walkout. Right. Well then, there you go. I mean, Carl Walker was great. Definitely did not make anywhere close to the coins it would have cost to buy all those players and put them in the SBC. It was a lot of time as well. I'm not gonna lie to you. I spent a lot of time, I spent an hour and a half building all of those. Was it worth it? Absolutely, definitely not. But we did it for the content. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.